Oh, so we got round two. Yes, sir. So now we have Stefan Josephic versus Dragonlink. He's on Team Oblivion. You can see it on his shirt. He's playing against Carl Carlos Luraquente. I hope I didn't butcher his name. He's playing Virtual World. Uh, looks like Carlos rolled a nine. It looks like the, they both rolled a nine. Oh, one of them rolled an eight. Let's see who went first. Let's see. Uh, do do we both still still play Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, <laughs> that one's more for you. Uh, yeah, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I try to go to like my locals whenever it opens. Uh, I'd personally be coming to these PPGs if I wasn't commentating mm -hmm. it. Uh, I was actually about to come to the last one that I didn't commentate, but uh, I had some stuff to take care of back home, so you know I ended up just staying at home. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you know, I try to stay active, stay in the format, just because when the like Yu Gi Oh in the world does open back up, which I I personally think is going to open back up this year, uh, hopefully. Well, w when it does, and eventually it will. Uh, I just don't want to be rusty. You know what I mean? I just want exactly. to be on top of my game, have everything I need. Yep, just want to commentate for now. For me, um, I've been playing in the a few online events. Uh, I played in the last LCS. Uh, pretty cool. But on uh, doing remote duels and the uh, online tournaments. Always a great way to stay in shape. Make sure you're not rusty, like DeBlessa said. Um, I'm more so, again, playing Magic for the most part. That's a game I, I enjoy, like, playing as a strategic game. Um, but, yeah, definitely when the first YCS and Regional was announced. Oh, I'm there 110%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm probably <laughs> actually going to book my, like, take it the moment. It's oh, 100%. Like. <laughs> I'm going to have whatever the price is. I don't care if yeah. it's $1,000. I'm going. Yeah, I, I, like, I'll be there. <laughs> like, I'll actually be there. See everybody. There. That's the reason why I play the game, just to see everybody, see all my friends, everybody I've met through this game. I love y'all. Y'all the reason why I still play. Yes, sir. Well, yep. All right. So, Dragon Lee player is going off, it looks like. Um, I, I think he just... It's going to go full combo. Yep. Like, Spears tidying is usually enough versus Virtual World when you go first, to be honest. But, like, Apollosa is just an FTK versus that deck. Yeah, and especially if you find a, two ways to out either the normal summon or the spell or trap. If you ha find a way to have them not be able to target a card on the field for the Virtual World effects, that deck is dead. Yeah. Also, here's a card that um, recently... Became somewhat popular in a side deck. I actually cited it for the LCS. Uh, Earth, Earth Shattering Event. That what is a continuous. What does that do? That is a continuous spell. Uh, one printing world superstars. It says if a card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, you shuffle back any card from the graveyard into the deck, and for the rest of the turn, neither player can send cards from the deck to the graveyard. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! <laughs> that yes. card is nice. Yeah, I cited it, and it actually so works. Is the virtual world effects optional to send from deck? Uh, no, they have to send. They oh, to my send. God. They, it turns it off. It turns the deck off, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, let me make sure. Earth shattering. Oh, no, no. Looking look, look at virtual world. Virtual. Oh, my. <laughs> it said, oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of cracked. Yeah. And it only has one printing. That card's very, very good. Uh, virtual. Tobias said, I'm pretty sure the first regional YCS announced is going to be huge. I, I suggest to everyone when the first event comes back, book. <laughs> you, you book and you pre-register the moment you can go like the, the friday you should pre-register like i would 100 percent. i would not wait to saturday because you probably won't have a chance yeah. to play okay so yeah the, the card does work it says the virtual work cards all say send one virtual work card from your deck to your graveyard and if you do special Ooh, this card. that's so, yeah, disgusting earth shattering event is just a card that is unreal in the like if you're playing a control deck you or even the um a deck that's not virtual you just activate it protect the card and you win the game yep like there's no way they don't they don't they only get one they get one special summon but whatever they send to the graveyard gets shuffled back in the deck yeah and it's usually ching long yeah so this looks like we're seeing combo here um oh he actually just did the lp get someone said what was the card again we can't tell you until i go buy my set i need to go get my set <laughs> off a tcg player just wait no i'm kidding it was uh earth, earth shattering, shattering event it's from world yeah. superstars it's a prismatic secret rare that's actually a blowout card versus virtual world like i would actually i'm kind of mad i didn't know about that <laughs> card that would make my virtual matchup like easier and every every time i come on the PPG stream we always find out something for the chat every yep, time every exactly. time oh, let's see What format do you play? Um, I play uh, modern mainly, but I'm also getting into legacy, picking up my dual lands piece by piece. Uh, definitely an amazing investment. All the reserve list cards literally keep getting bought out day after day. So if you guys have a chance to get your get your dual lands and your legacy staples, I would get them now. Um, what's up, Brandon? It's been a minute. How you doing? How you doing? 
That card is Earth Shattering Event. Oh, but yeah, the, the first YCS is literally going to be the biggest event, I think, ever. Yeah, like, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> like, I know, I know there's a YCS in Cali. I think it was the 100th or 200th or whatever. It had like 5,000 people. Yep. This theoretically would smash. Yeah, I topped the 200 too. That was fun. I know Gio did too. That was Yeah, it was really was fun. Awesome yeah, actually, yeah, me and him, yeah, me and him <laughs> did top that same event <laughs> together. I think we both lost the same round of top cut. God, what did I play for that event? Uh, oh my gosh! I think I played Geist. What? Why? You're crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know say why. You're crazy. I might have been. I might have been in my retirement phase. Goku was then. literally a deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was in my retirement phase back then. He was like, "Yeah, I'm done. I've got to get this out of my system." Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> Yo, I see the blue blood TCG test for shattering convention stock. Yo, that's hilarious, bro. I, I literally bought that card, but as soon as I found that card out, yo. That card is nice. Yeah, it's that's kind of cracked. What kind of woods would be rolling? <laughs> <laughs> Russian creams, bro, and dark stouts. Russian creams, dark stouts. <laughs> yeah, I said yeah. Lizette, that's a, I said lasagna and spaghetti are like the pastas. Like mm -hmm. I would, I would mess with. <laughs> Todd, <laughs> chat is always so goofy, bro. I love the <laughs> chat. So if if you guys haven't been paying attention, the reason Dragon League player ended like this was because he asked the LP. And I don't think it's him just strong enough to continue. That's the new the new level six right there, right? It looks like the new level six. Uh, and that's GG. La no, that's Lala. La. Lala and Gigi. Oh yeah, yeah it's it's yeah, it's Lala. Yeah, so. We go for shit. Just curious how big is this PPG event? Um, eighty-eight, I think, was the cap. I thought it was ninety-eight. I might be wrong. Eighty-eight might be correct. Someone said I'm new to competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. What's a YCS? So it's called a Yu-Gi-Oh. Cha it stands for Yu-Gi-Oh Championship Series. Uh, it's basically like a regional times ten. Uh, just a big, a lot more bigger people, um, and then, and you win a lot more prizes. Uh, they have a top cut for like top 32 uh, majority of the time, uh, and then in top cut you win special match uh, and prizes as well. You can win like game the newest game system out. Um, so like now it'd be either a PS5 you'd win or Xbox Series X. That was also why I missed events too, because like there was a PS5 stroke and I was like, bro, I would have just won one, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, you were in the finals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it was wild. Someone said I literally just ordered a play set of Earth Shattering event. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> he loved really? to see it. Yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I got the email. You <laughs> love to see it. Much love, much love. <laughs> Chuchi and Ching Long are so good. Like even like once they're on the board and you have a grave established, those cards are like super super powerful. Like I I, I like to leave at least one of both of them up. Like when I played Spirals, I was always leaving Spiral Rescue Mission like on the field. Like I always oh, kept I one on the field. Bro, I loved having rescue. Advantage. Exactly. Like, Nobody ever did. The bro, I loved having rescue on the field. It was so good. Someone said I bought a set as well. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he said a card that free wins free versus virtual world ball. I, I am Italian. I am part Italian. I am like Irish, Italian, Norwegian, Czechoslovakian, Hungarian, Irish, uh, <laughs> English. I'm everything, man. <laughs> Someone said, "What's your thoughts on Paul Cooper's list from the LCS 10?" What? Who's Paul Cooper? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Snaggy. <laughs> no, nah, his I deck actually, was nice. I actually didn't see it. Actually, what did he play? He was playing Adam Aspater. Oh, really? Rock deck? Literally rock deck. Oh, uh, he played. He played with this guy, uh, Brady Shield, Andrew Shields. Yep. I know. Yeah. And then uh, Trey Massingale, the 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 YCS Orlando champion, like two thousand eight. Yep. Yep. Brady said Paul went X four in Swiss though. He did. <laughs> he said he Dude, did. He, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he was. He was. His team was carrying him. <laughs> and then, in the, of course, in the finals, yeah, Paul he just carried pops him. off right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Paul. He's a savage. He I'm said, thinking. thank you, I just placed my set order of Earth, bro, you oh, dude, I need to put Earth Shattering out. bought out. <laughs> I need to put more up. Earth Shattering <laughs> buyout. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me put more up. Someone said how much percent Italian? 
It's got to be high because my <laughs> obsessive need high. for pasta, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Levy and Nair, this is this is this is really. Oh, no, I don't good. think Paul Cooper was playing rock pranks. He was actually just playing pure at Emancipator with like Doki Dokis with like the whole Rock Engine Revival Golem. He was playing pure at Emancipators. It is crazy, but that deck is that deck is nice if a you know how to play it and b your deck is uh, formulated for the meta. Someone said, "Do you guys not let players use their own man?" I know it's like the same. Uh, well, it's it's just kind of so like the stream is set up correctly. You don't want to have like someone's map be too big, someone's map be too small, and it, like offsets it. Someone said, "I think fifty plus earth shattering bought earth shattering earth shattering just got bought." Oh right. my god! All right, I got you guys. <laughs> what do we do? Oh man, dude, let me see. That was zero. <laughs> That's insane. Holy shit. Let me see. Uh... Someone said, just got my play set too. Oh, man. Hold someone on. said, I'm about to buy a set. Give me a second. Someone said, there's not enough. Oh, my enough God. I have, I have none. Hold on. Yeah, someone said, there's not enough. All right, I'm putting more on. <laughs> I'm putting more on. No, he couldn't make VFD. He had a nine and a six. All right, done. I'll put more up for you guys. He ended with Croc. Uh, I mean, what it, what he ended with should have been enough, essentially, though. He ended with Croc, uh, Croc, which is a pop, a Chuchi, which is a pop. And he has to change long to negate any big monster that was bored. Someone said they're all gone again. I, I just put more up. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said that was mad fast. Someone said Adam Corrin's still the best ever. Someone said best best 50 cent I've ever spent on her shattering events. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said I just ordered six more. Oh, man. Oh, stop, guys. Relax. <laughs> <He> said, Relax. <laughs> Don't stop. I'm lying. <laughs> Let me see. Where am I at now? Yeah, I just put more up. This virtual world player looks like he's struggling, but he has Shin Shin from Grave. That's such a big, big, big resource for them. Mm -hmm. So he goes Chuchi Pop to Heretic Seal. Uh, round 10, what time are finals? Uh, we're only in round 2 of 7, and then we have top 8, top 4, and the finals. So then he, he changed Heretic around. Seal, and then he changed Gamma to the Seal, so he gets no tribute. Oh, he chained he chained the seal to bounce the Chuchi and Gamma at that part, so he still gets the tribute. Haggerty was goody. Thank you, my guy. Ordered six for one eyed wonder. Let me see. God, Gamma is so clean. Gamma is nice. Ah, but he gets cool. a chambermaid, which is gonna get him tidy in. Yeah. I don't think Carlos has any cards in hand. Nope, he has his hands. But he has Shinshin Shin and Grave though. Or actually, I don't think he made Shin Shin turn one. I think he made Croc turn one. Real question for y'all. What is your top five all-time best skilled players? I'm not old enough to answer that question. Uh, <laughs> I might be. Uh, that's a hard one, man. Um, Hoban and Cotton are up there, definitely in terms of new, newer players. So, like, to me, it's like Hoban, Cotton, uh, um... I'm so disrespectful for get, uh, <laughs> forgetting his name. Galley. Galley, yes. Galley. Yes. Um, uh, who else? Andreas. Um, Andres Torres? Yeah. Okay. Um, damn, I, I, don't, I actually don't know who would be my last one. I'd, I'd definitely say for somebody exclusive, somebody who, like, did something in the game. Like, necessarily to me, not the most toss, but, like, somebody who changed the game, you know, or shaped it up to a certain way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. I... I in terms of like old school, see for that conversation, it would have to be top five old school and also top exactly. five new school exactly. because like exactly. they're so different so eras. Exactly, and the yep. game itself it's is different. just so yep. different. Yep. So like I, I definitely say in in no particular order, in my opinion. Oh yeah, mine five, wasn't in any order. Top though. five, um, top five for old school, definitely Billy Break and Jeff Jones. Definitely. Oh, I forgot Billy Break. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah that's, I, my <laughs> that's my fifth. That's my fifth. There you go. <laughs> yeah, definitely old school veterans for sure. Um. In their prime, I'd want to say, um, oh, dude, I forgot. Now I forgot his name. But, okay, so 
Oh man. It's like you know there's exactly so many. who you think. Yeah, I know. Exactly. So yeah. like, <laughs> um, there's so many old school players, but like I, I know my top two players of all time, actually, Billy Brick and Jeff. Um, they've done so much in the game. Um, yeah, Billy's yeah. cracked. <laughs> yeah, if, if if Billy were to come back like now, because he he was in a combo oriented format. Yeah, when he said, left. yeah, I'm pretty sure he would just enjoy this so much. Yeah. Apollo's did. That's why Apollo. Yeah, yes. he's definitely up there. Like, oh my there's god. Like, I, there's so many yes. people who are up there. Like that's why five is really really hard. Cause Apollo like, three back to back, dude. Like there's <laughs> like I like I. I have, like, five people who I want, and then I have, like, 12 people who are, who are like, my sixth man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be able to put them, like, seventh, eighth, ninth. They'd all be, like, six. Someone said Mason Matilda top five for sure. Get out of here, Brandon. <laughs> yes, yeah, Dragon player is just winning this game by far. <clears throat> I'm not sure how the virtual world player let it get this out of hand. Um, the Dragon Maid came off of the Brotar and like all these other cards came accumulated, but it seems like he was up at an advantage. I didn't see a nib or anything. Uh, if I'm the Dragon Link player here, I'm going for Boral Sword. My opponent has zero cards. Like I'm not even going to keep trying to attempting to play the game. Uh, I think th it's unnecessary. I think I'd definitely just go for Boral Sword at that point. So he makes Void Ogre, I think. That's Void Ogre, right? Um, or Hot Red? No, it's Hot Red. Hot yeah, red. a lot yeah, of the yeah. Hot Red. Some players have been putting that in. That card is nice. Yeah, Hot Red's clean. Face up. Yeah, Hot Red's clean. They get any card. Yeah. You activate Monster Reborn negate. Yep. Like that card yep. is. If there's some card. I forgot. Uh, Joe, my homie Joe Dietrich was playing against me. There's some card in. Uh, I think it's. I think it's Dragon Link. It's either Dragon Link or. Yeah, it's Dragon Link, I'm pretty sure. It says, it says like, target a card, face-up card, negate that card's effects. But, like, it's not until the end turn. Like, it's just permanent. Like, I was playing Salad, and he just negated my Sanctuary. And I was just like, oh, this is, like, forever. I was <laughs> like, oh, well, this it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said he didn't make Boral Sword, but he cleaned up. And I, he didn't really have to, to be honest. The game was over a while ago. Uh, it was over when his opponent had zero cards, and he was stuck on, like, Ching. Oh, my God. Haggerty. Yeah. <laughs> Um, TCG store, y'all already know. Bling Blau TCGs. That's me. Thank you, Chachitos. Someone said, in no order, Hoban, Bolden, Galileo, Apollo, and Ryan Yu, Raphael, Rachel, and Ryan Yu coming up from Dragons of Rules and just doing their thing. It's crazy how good they are at their age. Um, yeah, I think Ryan's just a little too young to, and Ra Ryan and Raphael are just a little too young to put up there in that conversation. Uh, they're definitely great players for their age, and I probably think, uh, like, they're some of the best players of all time at that age, uh, but I just don't think they're, like, some of the best players of all time, like, in all. But, like, they're definitely – Ryan's, like, one of my biggest fans. I love Ryan. Like, I love watching all his decks. Like, Ryan's the greatest. He works really hard, too, like, as a kid. Like, when, we, when I was doing the regional grind, I would see him, like, every weekend, and we would talk about decks together, uh, and it will just be crazy. Bones the boy. You yeah, got to relax nice. with that. Bones is <laughs> nice. Someone said it wasn't Hoban a cheater. I actually don't know. I never heard about it. Yeah, that one I don't know. That, But what we do know, why he is on the list, he changed Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, 100%. Upstart changed Goblin. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Upstart He's the reason Goblin. we got hit the yeah, one. Like, like, Upstart Goblin is nuts. Yeah, and, well, like, it, his theory and article writing, mm -hmm. everything about his aura, like, if he's at an event, you have to play differently and, and build your deck according. Like, he... Yep put so much pressure in the room like just from being there and his squad with ben desmond even like everybody in the squad just it, it provided so much pressure thank you guys for all the orders oh goodness <laughs> but um yeah the, it's, the game is just so different as it was back then like even even to more more recent years um what was it like back in that format where Necroz, Shadal, BA, Cly, that era of Yu-Gi-Oh was so great and just it felt like a game. Mm -hmm. Like that that era was good. Now it's just like I, it, like it's skillful to it. an extent, but like it's mostly just I go burr, you go burr. Yes, exactly. But like right. 
if you're good and like the format doesn't have like any boss monsters essentially, like uh, the last Eternal format where it was like Colossus, Sunlight Wolf, and Galatea. Yeah, Galatea. Like, and and Kagari. Like those were like the decks you would see at events. And like the scariest thing you were facing now was like a Thunder Dragon deck. So like you had a hot three out of four chance of playing against a deck that took skill for you know and fair and interaction. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So like if as long as you were preparing for that blowout matchup, like you were essentially fine. Uh, it's not die roll the format. It, it's it's a common misconception that is die roll the format, but like their decks have evolved to a point where, and, and decks and cards have evolved to the point where going second you can actually still play the game with like cards like Droplets, Dark Ruler, uh, with all the back row hate, Lightning Storm, Feather Duster being in the format again. It's it yes, winning the die roll places you in such a Ooh. favorable position. That's uh, disgusting. Uh, so he opened E Tally. I didn't mean cut you off. He opened E Tally, but he's got Lance yet. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, it's that actually sucks. pretty disgusting. Because, yeah, you def- see, some people are either shotgunning Lancia to play around talent, or they're holding it until they have a monster on the board to play around Gamma. Like, those are the two um, play play notions that you have to make and gauge on the player, whether they're playing talent and have talent, or playing Gamma and have Gamma. Like, Lancia is just such a such a crippling card that you have to play it correctly. And if it resolves, it's it's super impactful, as we'll see right now, because he just sent the spell, and he can't even banish the spell to get another search. Yeah, like, this place. <laughs> like <laughs> this is pretty nasty. Like, he, I think he can end on a Shin Shin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, ending on Shin Shin. Like, he already used Teleport. That's already an extender. He used his... What? He's cutting. Oh, he's cutting. Set, yeah. Oh, I was like, what? He asked his opponent how he wanted to cut. <laughs> he said 10. Taylor, what's goody, boy? But, yes, I definitely agree. Like, while, yes, there are a ton of teams right now. Is that going like, to make a Gossip Shadow? Yeah. Yep. The team era, like, when it was, like, PPG, Card Guys, yeah, and, like, a few really others. Fun. Like, those, yeah. that era and that sense of team uh, made the game so much interesting because the in each team... It was the deck. Like everybody mm-hmm. was playing one deck, and that deck was revolutionary for that event. Mm-hmm. And the next, that the next event, it just got better and better. And yep. it was just, it was just so much com- um, competitiveness in each team and the spirit and the players. It, the events just meant more. And especially like when ARGs were a thing, like those events felt more competitive and meaningful rather than like YCSs because the, everybody's used to a YCS, but like. It, it was just so much more competitive back then, and mm-hmm. there are just so many teams now that there aren't really, like, a big few teams like it was PPG and Car Guys era. It was just, I don't know. Back, back then, Yu-Gi-Oh! was just so much fun. Let's see. So, Gossip Shadow Croc under Lancia and Ash already. Um, yeah, his hand was really good. Upstar Goblin. I'll, I actually would have asked the, the e Tally. I would have too. Uh, if if you're activating Etelly as your first play, you can already telegraph that your hand isn't that good, and that you have to get a monster on board to resolve your virtual world plays. And that's exactly what happened because yep. he sent the spell, and that spell would have ended up getting him more monster, getting him a Lulu. Um, you would have sent the trap, add the spell that set that puts the trap on the board, and then continue playing. So if you ash his Etelly, you take a guy out of his hand and one off a board essentially because he yeah. has to normal summon a guy out of his hand, so that's one of the less effect he gets. Exactly. To use. So it's like stopping two effects in one when you think about it exactly. like in the long run. See, like if if, if you were if you had Etelly and a playable hand, you would use Etelly as an extender if your uh, first play got stopped. So seeing Etelly first would have telegraphed to me, oh, this Etelly has to resolve, otherwise he's not doing anything. So I would have definitely Ash. And you had Lanty as a backup, as a more powerful answer. But I think he let um, he let the Italy resolve to play around Gamma with yeah. the Lantia, which I don't know if that was correct or not. Obviously, in this case, it wasn't. But he still ended up on a suboptimal board, only what looks like two cards in hand for Carlos and a, and a Gossip Shadow. It, it's well, a, he'll have three cards because of Gossip Shadow. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now he's going to have three cards in hand. Um, so, he, so he went Chambermaid. Uh, well, he no also effect. has the Croc. Yeah, he went Chambermaid, no effect. Uh, then he goes on the Striker Dragon, and uses Effect, and then he gets Gossip Shadow. So, like, the, do you have the Tiding in hand already? Are you only playing one? Let's see. Because I think, like, I still use Chambermaid Effect regardless. 
I probably because Gossip Shadow doesn't destroy the card. It it just says it makes the effect to draw a card. So you still would have been able to summon Striker Dragon, resolve Striker Dragon, and it looks like that Boot Sector was was extremely impactful. Um, if he had a Rocket Monster in his hand, he would have still been able to play the game. But also he has Cro and another Lancia. So it, Steven's hand was just full of hand traps. So and Carlos, place. Carlos just like I think he has a better board if he makes Shinshin turn one over a pop. Shinshin is definitely way too impactful. Like, for I always matchup. would, like, I don't know. Like, I see a lot of players in Croc Block. I'd rather in Shinshin. And, yeah. like, while it's, a pop, while it's a pop, yes, you have to discard two cards out of your hand that lessens the chance of you playing the game on the next turn if you survive. So, Shinshin being a stop, as well as you can actually revive Shinshin to actually resolve uh, virtual monsters in your hand. So, it's another mm -hmm. way to continue yep. your play, yeah. I guess also he was trying to use Croc to maybe draw an extender, but that's like definitely very risky. So he did Pretty. open the tidy end. I know he opened the tidy end. So he activated Tucci, revealed uh, Lulu from hand, and then he chained the tidy end to the Lulu effect. Wait, wh how is he summoning? He, he normal, normal summoned Lulu? Not, yeah, now nah, he normal summoned okay, it, okay. and then he's using the end effect from Grave. Oh, okay, all right. What deck would you play in the first YCS back if it was today? That's Dry a question. I'd personally just play Drytron because I think everybody would be more prepared for Virtual World now. So, like, yeah. I wouldn't play Drytron in a format where everybody's prepared for Drytron. I agree. Yeah, everybody's on Virtual World since... Uh, the new Trap came out. The new yeah. Pot came out. Like, a lot of people are main in Lancia's and stuff. And, like, Lancia's even super strong to main in Drytron because, like, it makes your orange light stronger. And you can add fairier. it back, too. You, yeah. can, you can search it. Like, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot of recurs. You can banish it for evil effect. Like, there's a lot of things you can do. So it looks like he's going to end on a Zeus. And he summons Vesperado. That's Drill Driver Vesperado. Is that a Drill Driver? No, I think that's the rank three. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's the that's rank three. It's the virtual world rank yeah. three. Hmm. He already swung, though, so I'm pretty sure he ends on Zeus as well. Wait, hold on. How did... Did he make downward and then attack? I thought you could only make that main phase two. Yeah, you can. You can only make downward main phase two. So they should um, take that back. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let, yeah, let, you can you tell the? Okay. Yeah, so Downer was made in main phase one. We got that fixed. He's not allowed to make Downer in main phase one. Um, it's it's only allowed to be made after he attacks. Uh, that's what Zeus is for, to actually stack the extra material. Um, but Gossip Shadow did, like has less attack than him, so obviously for him it's better for him to attack with Downer. Uh, simple mistake. Yeah, easily fixable. It's just less easily damage. Fixable, yeah. So. Nothing too crucial. See, oh man, I would love to play me some Paleozoic, yo. And I got a fun Paleo deck. I'll be playing against uh, DB Grinder against it whenever we play on DB. Like, I'll play my Paleo deck. He gets so mad. Cause, like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just trap trick. Go get whatever like trap is better versus his deck. <laughs> like, usually how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely since Toad's back at three, I got him right on my shoulder every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we caught that tear. And it looks like Carlos won game two, going into game three. Yep. And it looks like Dragon Link is Someone going to go Someone said, first. where are they invoked Dogma decks or Shadals? Uh, we'll try to pick uh, some some different decks for the next round. Yeah, definitely. Uh, these were, so far, we've just been randomly picking. Uh, we haven't just been selecting them ourselves. We've just been randomly picking for stream. Uh, Todd Morrison, Mustelon, Drytron. I just, I don't think Drytron's the best deck right now. I'm like every pro, I'm sure like every pro player like can all agree right now like Virtual World's the best deck. Uh, just VFD is still a card. Um, but I just personally like the game mechanics of the way Drytron plays and I just yeah. like the way like the card interactions work with each other. So like I'm a fan of it because of that, not because it's the best deck. Uh, 
it just can do a lot. You can take a lot of routes. Um, you you can play through a lot of hand traps and like less hand traps affect you if you play correctly. Yeah, main, so I just really like that. Main decking Harold, like being able to play Harold of Orange Light and yeah. actually be progress good. your gameplay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like yeah. It, just being able to actually cert, be, have a searchable hand trap that counters hand traps yeah, is oh absolutely crazy. So like I remember on my turn like. I go like prep. Like I open orange, orange light even. Obviously that's just cracked. But like I uh, orange lighted a droll on the resolution of my prep because prep's the first card to activate. And then I go Eva effect. Uh, and then Eva got gets me a petite. And I was just like, oh, this just gets me another Ben Ten. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that's that that's crazy. Like that's open double Ben Ten just because I open like it, it like Eva orange light turned to called by and another Ben Ten. Like that's it was pretty cracked. It was kind of insane. Any Elblitch Evil Twin. That's a deck I've, I've wanted to actually see in action. That's really, really cool. Um, but if, if we see it doing well, we'll be more than happy to put it on the stream. I want to put some cool, well-positioned decks on stream that, like, aren't the huge. Yeah, 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 me. same. You guys think the decks from the Eternal format could get some health off the ban list and shake up the format? I just want Stalio back. He was a good boy. <laughs> he was a good boy. <laughs> he was a good boy. He was the best boy. <laughs> yeah. Like, Salamigrate was a fun deck to play. I, I had so much fun with that deck, bro. I swear I did. Yeah. That deck was so, so fun. And for the better Salamigrate players, there's so many more lines to oh see. My oh, Lord. my gosh. It I was, love it. It was, oh, it was so good. It was so much my, fun, My bro. two favorite cards from that deck are Falco and Mole. Those two yep. cards. <laughs> <laughs> I love Falco, bro. I used to abuse Falco all the time. Yeah. Falco file was cracked. Yeah, like, literally. <laughs> oh, my God. Haggerty. I can't believe you just said that. That literally, my hair looks like butter pasta. Did I forget anybody? Uh, let's see. Um, I was just gonna let give that like list to him and just let him randomly pick round by round. So just so you guys know, uh, PPG has a bunch of the new sets coming out. If you guys need any sale product, they'll have everything. By the, like officially when it comes out, Konami's been a little delayed with product because of bad weather and you know pandemic. So you guys have been really uh cool with you know being respectful with waiting stuff like that um they have ghost from the past coming out soon what was the next set lightning vortex or it was lightning, lightning overdrive. overdrive lightning overdrive right yeah lightning overdrive ghost from the past um legendary duelist too you guys have that in now right legendary duelist too they, yeah. they should have legendary oh. duelist too in now right oh yeah look, look, <laughs> right here right here love <laughs> to see it love to see it yeah <laughs> the set's really really cool uh it gives you a lot of the blue eyes cards uh, and a lot of access to them because blue eyes cards are really really hard to get if anybody here plays Yu-Gi-Oh, y'all know blue eyes cards are super super tough to get uh it's it's really good konami sees that the casual player base uh just wants some like pretty prettier for the blue eyes cards you know a little bit like uh, a little more cards to make it more competitive as well. I also like the the addition of the new rarities with the with the colored rares. I love that. Yeah, I also like, think the dice are sick. Yeah, the dice I, are sick. The really Kaiba like dice. dice. Yeah, yeah I, I want a couple of the Kaiba dice for myself. Those look sick. So he opens city. He has he gets the Ching Long off the city so he can stop the Heretic Seals. I wonder if he opens the Lulu as well. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to use it right away. That's interesting. Mm, yeah. What? I, yeah, I don't know why he That's did that. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. Uh, I probably oh would have. I probably would have just banished from grave with the child. I would yeah. Use <laughs> yeah. The was, city in the grave does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh I was, no. I, was, I don't. Yeah, I don't see where you got that from. Cause like, and you want to banish your cards. Yeah. You, they're live. Yeah. You make it makes your stuff live. Cause like chambermaid gets some tidying now. Oh no. So you have to normal seven GG and then start playing. Yeah, like, Ugh. I, yeah, why you do that? <laughs> I don't see why Carlo did that. If anybody in chat know why he did that, please tell this me. This is some big brain play, like, <laughs> unless you see it, I, I don't see it. <laughs> yeah. Someone said my cat hit all my dice for Legendary Duel of Season <laughs> 2. Oh, no. He, he's trying to help. Uh, he just wants to play. Cats are, cats are mischievous. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, my cat has created, a, scratched up the under uh, under of my box spring mattress and created a hammock for her. <laughs> I'm not joking. What? A hammock. It's like, yeah, this is why. She, I'll take anytime this. she does something wrong, she just goes up there and hides in her little hammock. And I'm just like, you're. 
I, I'm speechless. Like, she created a hammock for herself. It's that's, so a, that's hilarious. Uh, someone said to get seals off board. So, yeah. So, like, even if I didn't get it off a board, uh, I just, like, stopped the thread of it on the field. You know yeah, because I mean? the, the effect of bounce is much more relevant than summoning a monster from the deck. Because yeah. Brotar is just going to search a monster, and J Dragon Maid is just going to search a, a trap. But, like, if, if if you're a virtual player, you're trying to kill the Dragon Link player. Yeah, you know, if you yeah just, this turn. If yeah. you just ended seals, and, and the Dragon Link player went first. So if you just ended seals pass, there's a, a higher probability of him siding out hand traps for consistency yep. since he's going first. So there's a less likelihood of him having a hand trap. So if you negate the bounce, what's that doing? Like, if if... if since the monster on board is basically a vanilla right now, he can end up destroying it with, um, let's say, the croc if he's trying to go for game. Or there, there, he definitely should have just negated the effect. Yeah. It, that wasted his normal summon, too. Yeah. Like, it's like you, you can extend even far. Like, essentially, with this deck, your normal summon is an extender, kind of. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, if you don't have to use it to start, like, it's insane. Remember, it's kind of like, yeah. it's kind of like with, uh, Goki, like if I ever made a soul day before my normal summon, like I just won, yeah, I just won the <laughs> game. You know what I mean? Like if you open like Junk Forge, Shade Brigadine, like you're cracked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like there's really nothing your opponent could do at that point. You feel like, like all might, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the did the virtual world player get rolled? I thought he just got ashed. The Dragon Link player isn't scooping. He surely has another piece of interaction. Oh, I think the Dragon Link player got see, rolled. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I saw a Dragon Link player get rolled. I didn't yeah. see the virtual world. See, like, because of that first misplay that Carlos made, uh, not negating the uh, Heretic Seal, I would assume, like, based on my perception of his skill level, to not be as high as I would think. So there is a possibility of him misplaying and not going for game. That's why Steven isn't scooping. It's when you look like you're in an unwinnable position, uh, the average level player just automatically scoops because they don't think they could win. They're not putting into their head that the opponent could mess up or do something in the wrong order that would make them miss game shot. And then you can actually kill them and um, move past that and actually go for game on that next turn. So Especially <laughs> when playing on stream. Like, I don't know how much Carlos has played on stream or yeah. Steven has played on stream. But, like... Playing on stream, like, you don't want to mess up. And, like, if you're winning, you want to look cool. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it, it's kind of, like, all of that tied into one, especially, with like, my opponent. I just know, like, like like Michael said, like, nothing offensive to anybody personally. Uh, like, if my opponent, if I all I have on seals, if all I have on board is the seals, and my opponent opens a chalice, a forbidden chalice, and he just doesn't chalice my seal, you know what I'm saying? He just lets me, like... Just resolve my mindset. Yeah, yeah like, like like I'm just gonna think at that point, like, well, my cards are gonna resolve. Like, my cards are gonna work better than they're supposed to. You know yeah. what I mean? So like, someone said, "Yeah, I'm feeling the rock coming from oh the my. sky." Eighty thousand combos just coming. Yeah, nib cleans all this up. I tell everybody whenever they use Lao Lao early, bro. If you have the nib, you are gas. Yeah. Like you are gas. He ended on the same. Does he have board. the chicken nugget? Drop the nugget. Nuggets and tendies. Ooh, he oh, he has God, the yes. e telly there in the battle phase. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna be a VFD. That's gonna be a VFD. That's gonna be a VFD. Why is that card still legal? Yes, like this I, is I think so the oppressive push to watch. <laughs> like this is so oppressive to watch. Your opponent just summon um, VFD on you. Someone said main deck nib is back. So since I'm not playing in the in the, in the uh, PPG, so like my dry trial list, I main deck hand traps in my dry trial list. Like the only hand traps I main are three orange light, three Lancia, and three Nibiru. Those and are then, the best ones. Yeah. Yeah, and then I side like uh, gamma. I side gamma mm -hmm. and uh, two ghost bell. Uh, and three cycle reader. Yeah. Bell is extremely yeah. underrated right now. Oh yeah, Bell is like, crazy. It's, it's like, good. It, it's better in it's better in dry trying as well. Cause like I'm stopping cycle readers. I'm stopping Lao Laos. Yeah. I'm stopping the new virtual world trap. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, three three Bell has to be somewhere in in the list. Yeah 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 yeah. Cycle reader yeah. literally stops Benton search and yep. one of your guys coming back. Yep. Like that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, Bell is really really good and it also gives you cards to take out like. When you're when you're going first and Lancia is not good or like the beer is not good, you can take out like a set of hand traps for a set of bell. You know exactly, what I mean? just make your going first stronger. Yeah. Do you guys think 
do you guys use KDE's current time rules? Um, are we? What? How is time working? It's 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 uh, new time, right? New, new time. time rules, right? Same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah end of phase. Yeah, and then in top phase, cut, are we? Yeah. Um, end of top cut, are we doing in uh, turns? Same as Konami. Okay, so. How much time is left in round? I tell you right there, it just ended. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, at the top. I bet. So, yeah, somebody just said the virtual world player is slow playing. So, yeah, that's time in the round. I wonder who's up in life. It looks like the virtual world player is up in life. Oh, it does say. Oh, right there. Bet. Yep. All right, bet, 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 bet. So, does anyone ever tell them it's time? Oh, yeah, because they're on time, isn't it? Yeah, because he just tried to keep going. It was time on was, Carlos's turn. Yeah, it was, it was time on Carlos's turn. They have a minute. They have okay. a minute? Okay. It started 60 seconds late, chat. Someone said the fact that the virtual world player is making so many incorrect plays. And stuff. I mean, well, That's so like, the deck. he's like, smart. At least he's smart enough to know, like, he, he wants to play a deck that can reward him, you know what I'm saying? That, like, that won't punish him for misplays. So, like, he came into the event with that mindset, like, all right, I might mess up once or twice, but, like, I'm going to play a deck that will carry me if I mess up once or twice. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he was smart enough to have that mindset at least. But, like, Virtual World is just insane. Like, it's kind of like that that true Draco factor. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just has, like. The cards do so much. Yeah, like, they just go burr. Like, they all just go burr. Uh -oh. So, it looks like Virtual World's going to win this game because of life points, I'm pretty sure. 